Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on Stillnoct. Stillnoct tablets contain the active ingredient Salpidum, which is a type of a medicine called a non-benzodiazepine hypnotic. It is used as a short-term treatment for insomnia. So Salpidum is also available in generic form. So Salpidum works by a chemical in the brain or a neurotransmitter called gamma aminobutyric acid or GABA for short. When GABA is released in the brain, it promotes feelings of relaxation and calmness. So still not tablets are taken with some liquid shortly before going to bed. Note that Stillnoct is prescribed for the short-term treatment of insomnia, usually not exceeding four weeks. If you're still having difficulties falling asleep after four weeks of taking Stillnoct, speak to your doctor. If you wish to stop taking Stillnoct, your doctor will taper you off it, gradually reducing your dose. Sudden cessation of Stillnoct may result in withdrawal symptoms, and Stillnoct should be avoided by pregnant and breastfeeding women, as it may cause harm to the fetus or baby. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure to inform your doctor of this before taking any benzodiazepine that they have prescribed. <coughs> your doctor is most likely already aware of your medication and health history. However, if they are not, you should inform them of any other conditions that you may be suffering from, as Stillnoct is not suitable for people with certain conditions, such as individuals with a history of alcoholism or drug abuse, psychotic illness, and individuals with impaired liver function. Take caution when driving or operating heavy machinery while undergoing Stillnoct treatment. It may cause dizziness and drowsiness, thus impairing your ability to carry out certain tasks. So it's recommended to abstain from driving and operating machinery until you know how this medicine affects you. You should not drive straight after taking Stillnoct, as the medicine will make you drowsy and put you and others at risk. It is also a legal offence to drive on certain medications, including Stillnoct. You shouldn't drink alcohol around the time of Stillnoct dosage, as the medicine may increase alcohol side effects. Alcohol also reduces sleep quality. So it is not recommended to drink before bed if you have issues with sleep. Make sure to tell your doctor what other medicines you're taking, as they may have undesired interactions with Stillnoct, especially medicines such as the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, antidepressants, tricyclic antidepressants, and antipsychotics. So some of the main side effects, obviously, of Stillnoct include headache, drowsiness, agitation, and fatigue. For a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And remember, all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.